character already. Don't forget to add some of the shadowing. Eyes never look right if you don't have all the proper shadowing inside. So I'm pressing the number keys on the top of my keyboard, so like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Just pay attention to opacity up here. So if I press, like, say, number 2 or something, the opacity is dropped down to 20. It reads it as powers of 10, but if you want a specific number, you can type 25 or 0, 2 to get exactly 2%. But yeah, using shadow to define your lines, instead of using actual lines a lot of times, makes it look a lot more realistic. With a low opacity, you can also go for a much better looking blend. Now drop down to 10%. Yes, and all of this is just kind of winging it. Let's see what happens. Uh, next for the brow, I usually go for a very soft, light gray right there to start with, mainly because it looks a lot better when you have some sort of dark color underneath. Let's darken some of this, pull some of these out, darken down this area, pull that out. Alright, I'm going to shrink this down, and I typically draw a line signifying where the brow will go, so let's say, uh, let's bring this back up to 80%. This is going to be the center of the brow, where all the lashes will be going to. I can take this opacity down even more, because I don't need it as much anymore. And go in and just go. And I just kind of draw from it, so, like that, for example. Let's bring that to 100%, it's too weak. And there it goes. When you actually draw it from the center coming out, it looks like it's being kind of plugged into the skin like it's supposed to. And try for you know, several interesting combinations. And then when it gets around here, you can also go the opposite. Don't forget to put little stragglies on the side. Unless the person, you know, plucked their eyebrows and made it all perfect. which is quite possible. Even guys do it nowadays. Okay. Go inside, th draw some random uh, pieces of hair inside. There we go. I'll do several random stragglies on top. Darken the center area here. Another random stragglies, stragglies. That should give you a general idea of how to go about kind of drawing using Photoshop instead of always with paper. It does save a lot of paper too, it's pretty cool. I like doing it. And that's at 100%. You can get, you know, pretty cool looking results. Anyways, that's it for you know drawing with basic pencil. Uh, other things you can do with the brush, um, some of you might have seen I have several very painterly looking pieces. What I use is if I, if I just right click anywhere on the canvas, this little brush thing pops up. I've got a little arrow here and I can use natural brushes. I click OK and you have all these little speckled dots. Let's grab a number 19 right here for example. If I draw you can see it leaves little stroke patterns, which is pretty cool. Um, but I don't like exactly the way it works because it's just solid, no pass, no thick and thins. So press F5. Shape Dynamics, turn that on, pen tilt. Now it lets me do that. Uh, sometimes I go to other dynamics, turn pen pressure. Now I have this really nice effect, and I can just kind of paint. And it's similar a bit more similar to uh, actual painting. Now I'm using a uh, lasso tool just to select around here a bit. Yeah, the tablet just makes a lot of things faster. Other tools I like using uh, with brushes is let's use this. If I go here and use calligraphy brushes, these are pretty cool too. 
Um, it gives an interesting effect because when you paint, it does this type of effect. So for those like tag, this works really well. But now let's go over how to blend. So most of you probably use a technique where you just smudge things or blur things. Uh, I'll show you an example of how that works real quick. Let's grab this and I'll make a big black line right here. And I see a lot of people do use um, this smudge tool over here. And they try to smudge things out and try to blend that way. As you can tell, you can't really control too much of how far it goes and how nice your gradient is. It's usually kind of messy, kind of dirty. Uh, even with drawing in real life, a lot of people hate it when you smudge because it makes your picture ultimately look, look, look pretty dirty. So um, blurring also doesn't do much either. I can just go here and blur what I want, but it really doesn't do much. So how do digital artists do their blur and get it perfect? Well, what they do is, let's say I take this. What they do is they control their opacities. If I take this down to, let's say, um, 20%, if I paint right next to it now, you'll see it's a lighter color. So if I keep on doing this and build it up, now I have a lighter gray. What I do is next is I hold Alt and I dab this lighter gray color, and I start painting right next to it. It gets a bit lighter. I color dab that. That gets a bit lighter. Dab that and so on and so forth. And the cool thing is it also gives you that nice painterly effect that some of you might want to try to achieve. You can always go back and forth between these to get a much smoother feel. And if you cannot stand the little blending lines in between, just soften your brush. Like if I take my hardness all the way down to zero, and let's take my opacity down 10%. You notice the quality of the shadow or the blend is a lot nicer. This is how I use, usually blend every single thing, all my colors. I block up some of my colors and just blend it in between. Um, Okay, so now you know how to blend. Uh, blending two colors is the same way. So if we take, uh, let's say, red here, so I make this at 100%. And I take blue and I blend these two colors across to each other. Now it looks like, kind of like a French flag. Anyways, take down a 20%, bring this down. Let's bring that up. It's a nice blend. Do the reds. I'm bringing the reds in now. Once I get to the blues, I'm blending it across and I blend these back and forth. See how there's a purple in between now? Let's go in between both of them. And now I have a gradation from red to blue. So, yeah, that's pretty simple to do that. Uh, basically, all you need to do is just get kind of used to uh, how this whole thing works and you should be okay. Um, and remember, work at uh, 300, you can get a lot of detail this way. Uh, some of you m might have noticed uh, some of my pieces look very sketchy, like pencil. All I just did was I went in hard brush, there it goes, and I just sketched with these type of lines. And it looks pretty cool and leaves that really uh, drawing like feel to it. Instead of just making those nice blends, I just use the lines here and sketch that in. And sometimes that's all you really need to get the look and feel you, you want. So, uh, that's that in a nutshell. Just using colors, just grab whatever you need in here, dab inside. You can also create yourself a palette floating up in the top, and you should be okay. Alright, I'll just uh, end this right here.